Welcome to Endeavor TV with the QNAP TS220 NAS, which we have here in a short review. We already unboxed this, a nice little fella for you guys, but now we set it up and have used it for a few weeks. You can see here a big TV where we have it in our living room, so we can watch movies, listen to music, or just check out our pictures that we have by plugging in a USB stick from France, for example, and then we can uh, watch them right away with, um, without having to go all the way behind the TV. It would be, for example, mounted on the wall. But also what you can see here, I have a little notebook display where we have um, now the website open of the QNAP NAS, which is, of course, here in our network, right here, the 1.2. And then you get to a nice little um, place which looks like an iOS, um, actually, interface but it's really quite fast quite easy to use and after the first setup which is really easy you just have to set a username and password um, and define a few things like folders and such and what you want to do and then you can right away start working here so as you can see we can check for external devices um, we can see what background task the device is doing we can also easily change the languages without even have to um, reloading the page so i can for example i had it in german before and then it uh, quite quickly would switch to german as you can see you know it says system status in instead of system uh, or control panel you can also check on your NAS all the time here on the bottom to see how much space you have on your single first drive or the second drive since it's a dual drive device but you can also set up of course um, your RAID settings to have for example a backup a second drive or to make it faster. Also you can see how warm it gets, not really warm till now and it has been running for 5 days and it says that the hard drives that are inside are in good condition. So that about the health and everything, or and you can even see here what it's doing right now up and downstream. So you could see, of course, uh, I was playing a multimedia file here before, that's why it was a little bit peaking. But of course, it all works over Wi-Fi also. So if it's connected to your Wi-Fi router like it is here with us, it's really quite easy to use and also to manage information. Like, for example, if you go to, go to photo station here, you can just see your photos. Like, for example, here, this nice little rosemary, um, rosemary can do a slideshow right away, select a few pictures and of course also see here GPS metadata and um, everything, information if you just click on a file or you can just uh, browse through by dates or when it was or import of course new information and that is all possible for all here, the, all the settings like for example music, I don't have any music on here right now, also video station which is downloaded actually and you can download off, um, also a few other things here in the App Center. That's why we have actually here on the right side here the arrow. I didn't download anything else but you have up to three pages where you can add your apps here in the App Center. What's already of course pre-installed is antivirus so we have all kinds of um, possibilities to do antivirus stuff. You can set up where when it should uh, check everything um, and so on and so on. And you can see also on the side that there's a lot and a lot of other control panel settings that you can browse through here which I won't show into detail right now but there's really all kinds of things that can easily be set up and it's quite nice and pretty. QNAP Sync or QSync is also quite cool if you just want to back up your uh, Windows notebook or desktop PC, Mac or even mobile devices quite simply or you can just sync your data like for example your pictures um, a few times which is of course a lot cheaper if you just buy a device like this for 100 bucks or 200 bucks with hard drives and you can easily just um, back up your pictures instead of paying 5 to 10 bucks a month to Apple or Microsoft or Google or anything like that. And you can also do it on the go since we have also here cloud as you can see QNAP cloud and um, there's a few settings that you can do here. You can also sync with Amazon um, clouds or anything else that's in here in the list and you can uh, read in here um, or through this actually on the QNAP site a little bit more. But what I want to show you also is that we have here for example um, an iOS device and it's really quite easy to just open up a few QNAP apps, like for example Q Mobile or um, Q File HD, which is of course quite handy, I think, here on the um, iPad Air. Let me just focus on there so you guys can see that, um, for example, I can just go into my multimedia folder, don't have any music, but I have that, um, oops, 
can go back here to multimedia. I have a few series on here. For example, I want to watch Big Bang Theory. You can just three hole really quickly. It reacts. It can also build thumbnails. You can say you want to download it and get the link and send it to somebody, for example, and so on and so on, which is, of course, quite handy. But what's not that good, of course, on iOS is usually playing the device or actually here you can try it with the iOS native encoder, which as you can see, I didn't have to even wait for a second. And it also shows here on top. That's getting a little bit darker, so I could already also skip here a little bit forward. And this works quite nicely, but if I skip a little bit further, even that works quite great. So you don't have to wait a minute. Same thing for music and other stuff. And also there's, as I said, more apps, for example, here, Q Mobile, where you can browse through your multimedia and have also right away play, pause, and it looks a little bit like iTunes. And you can also differentiate here on the bottom if you just go to the media center between photos, music, and videos. Have all in one list, like for example, my Rosemary picture, and just check those all out. Same goes for um, Android. And here, as you can see, for the TV, where we have, for example, now just here, the app or don't even have to have an app it sees it in the network as a twonky right now I can just here start for example arrow and then watch here the movie quite easily also skip forward if I want to and it all looks great so this was the QNAP TS220 NAS in a short review I hope you liked it sorry for the shakiness I'm recording this with a smartphone right now till next time please tune in again my name is Balaj and thank you much for watching